Hey, Shalom. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kwadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom Laba Karyam Shah Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, predestined, ordained to be saved. That's one third of the 12 tribes of Israel that's about to be bought out of this land, biblically known as Great Babylon, Babylon the Great, Egypt, Assyria, Nineveh, Basra. These are the code names for America in the scriptures. And what you're looking at is the still image of, um, what's this guy name? Oh, this is, this is NY Prepper. These are the, uh, Russian warships that's now over in Cuba. You know, if we were back in the 60s, this would be the biggest event, the biggest talk in the world. But instead, they're talking about Joe Biden's son being convicted and he will receive no jail time. They're talking about Donald Trump being convicted and he will receive no jail time. And you're looking at seven to eight Warships, at least that's being reported. That's over there on the coast of Cuba. But they don't know if they got nuclear uh, missiles on them or not. You do have a nuclear submarine that they do know is carrying nuclear weapons. That um, America right now, they're on a the hunt for. They got sub wolfers out. That's over here as well. That was sent over with these ships. They just docked about 19, 20 hours ago. They're about to start their exercise and they'll remain here for the rest of this year, indefinitely. So the war games are on, the war drums are beaten. You got the majority of the Babylonians, you Americans are worrying about your summer, getting ready for 4th of July. The other Israelites out there pretending to be the men of the Lord, you're not blowing the trumpet on World War III, you're not blowing the trumpet on an MOTB. You're not warning the people about anything but the next Passover, you're playing games with Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Now it's time for the Lord to show his energy. It's time for the Lord to, to, to make these words pop, to prove what he say, because the Lord is a man of war. He's not a God that can lie, and he can swear by nobody other than himself. There's no one greater than Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, and this is about to be proven. Let me get this here. Uh, this is um, this is Sirach. Let me see, Sirach 36. The time is now. Got a lot of people wasting time and the Lord is about to make known who are my chosen. This is uh, Sirach 36 and one. Have mercy upon us, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, us all and behold us and send thy fear upon all nations that seek not after thee and that's this world and including all you nations that's all gathered together in the UN man all the kings of the earth you're about to experience the power of Yahweh lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power y'all about to see you armies, you navies, you gangs of the world, you're all about to witness the power of who you call Lord, God, who name is Yahweh, and his son name is Yahweh Shah. You're all about to witness the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. As thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us and let them know thee as we have known thee that there is no power but only you oh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and this with the world they about to witness the pain because the, all this is happening because the Lord is about to free the gods the nation of Israel who consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics Native Indians scattered throughout North, Central, South America, and the rest of the world. 
We about to be free and our freedom, this is the cost of freedom. It's coming on the backs of you nations who touch the apple of the Lord's eye. Guys, it's Greg here, AKA NY Prepper. It is Tuesday, June 11th, 2024. And I have another emergency alert to share with you guys. Right now it is 1448 Eastern time here in the United States. And we have some major breaking news coming in from here in the US. So what you're looking at here is a picture showing this Russian flotilla that is on the way to Cuba. And this picture was taken off the coast of Florida. And apparently this picture shows Russian warships and it was taken by a French Navy Lafayette class frigate. Okay, so these are apparently Russian warships here. And the French Navy was trailing these Russian warships on their way to Cuba. Now we also had several US Arleigh Burke class destroyers. Salakian. Home Depot hates when you do this, but they can't stop you. This new players following these Russian warships last night and today. So I want to just show you guys the track of those American Arleigh Burke class destroyers. Those are guided missile destroyers. They usually carry either Tomahawk missiles or they can carry the Aegis Ashore system, which is the missile defense system that is based on these ships so they can shoot down missiles from these ships. These are the same missiles used in the Red Sea and the same ships used in the Red Sea to shoot down Houthi missiles. So we deployed two of them to the East Coast last night. So let me just show you guys some of the paths here of these ships. And here we have video footage from yesterday showing one of the Russian warships arriving in Havana, Cuba, okay? So these Russian warships have missiles on them. They're very advanced. Some of them have hypersonic missiles. They are a threat to the US mainland. We also have that Russian nuclear powered submarine which can carry dozens of caliber cruise missiles which could potentially be nuclear armed so we now have this russian attack sub that is basically undetectable hanging off our coastline somewhere and hanging out in the caribbean and gulf of mexico so this is very very serious let me show you guys what we had going on last night and this so morning. you know what this so means we have one of the war is on you've been sitting in world war three for months now and the climax don't start until they fully break this dollar and implement that motb so let's get it popping e because we ready to go home the whole four elect is tired you know but the show must go on so this is occupation. And America and NATO is doing the same thing to Russia. They're on their borders, which means they're going to use American troops on their citizens. And they're going to use Russian and Chinese troops on American citizens. Because the soldiers are already in here. That's the whole thing with the border crossing. They got so many um, Chinese soldiers showing up at these military base that they can't keep up with the count. So they already got the troops Boots is already on the ground over here. Now the ships are here. The nuclear submarines, this place is about to be seized. And your government ain't letting you know what's going on. And you getting mad at us, the men of the Lord, because we come and we prophesy the biblical scriptures about what's going on. Hey, this is all the freedom of the nation of Israel. That's what you're looking at right now. <laughs> this is how it goes down. Thus saith the Lord. This is Joel 3 verse 1 NLT. At the time of these of, of those events, say if Yahweh, when I restore the prosperity of Judah 
that's Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And Jerusalem, that's the 10 tribes. That's the, the, the whole stick now that you read about in Ezekiel 37. All 12 tribes are here. So this is the time of restitution, right? This is the time of refreshing. This is the time of deliverance. This is how deliverance look. Deliverance for the nation of Israel looks like this. It's on the hills of war. There's two big events that's about to take place. Esau, you're being removed out of rulership. Thus saith the Lord. In the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes and Hispanics, you fighting against your rulership. That's all right. That's all right because you're about to be freed anyway. Unbeknownst to you. That's the two major events. Second Ezra 6 and 9. You Edomites are falling and Jacob, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, you're on the rise. But it starts like this. This is how it starts. So the payback is on. And the Lord means what he says. At that time of those events, saith Yahweh, when I restore the prosperity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather the armies of the world into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Now that's down there in the Middle East. Because the final throwdown in the dungeon is going to take place in two areas of the world. Over here in the west and over there in the east. But the least of the flock, those small hats going to draw all the big, 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 big guns out, which is those nuclear weapons. It's going to get deadly serious. And Jehoshaphat in the Hebrew is Yahweh, our Lord's name, Shapat, which is judgment. And you've been weighed in the balance, Esau. You know, you've been weighed and you've been divided. So it says, I will gather the armies of the world into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is located in the Middle East. There will I judge them. And, the, and once you see, which they are gathered now, the, the, the Russian warships are down here too. The Lord just fulfilling his prophecy by, by causing occupation over here in this land. Because this is all going to lead to Jacob's trouble. And that whole charade with Trump and Biden, son in the news, that's going to take place. That's going to be a lot of fuel to the fire with this civil war. You best believe that's going to be used. Every piece on the chessboard is going to be used. You best believe that. It says, there I will judge them. It says, for harming my people, my special possession, for scattering my people among the nations, and for dividing up my land. So this is <laughs> this is the Lord, man. This is this is all biblical prophecy. If you want to know what's going on, the big payback is on. The Lord is about to pay back you nations. For touching the apple of his eye, right? So y'all look at us as just Negroes and Hispanics, but you never thought it would go down like this. So this is not going to be to you. It's going to look like confusion, but this is all control. You think you got order out of chaos? You ain't seen order out of chaos. The Lord going to make this very chaotic, but it's going to be very in order. It's all biblical prophecy. Burke class destroyers. And again, this thing is either going to be armed with missile defense systems or with Tomahawk missiles. And what's interesting is that it turned its tracker off once it got past Florida. So it went in between Florida and the Bahamas. And once it got close to the Florida Keys, it turned its tracker off. This is its last position as of a few hours ago. Okay. So this thing is one of the U.S. warships that are trailing the Russian warships and looking for that Russian sub somewhere in this area. They ain't going to find that sub. And Those subs are made. I mean, they're so quiet, number one. You know, Russia got some of the top subs. You know, America got them too. America subs are on point. You know, but Russia subs are on point. Very quiet. They... <laughs> They've been over here <laughs> You know They can't find them subs And the Lord gonna use them subs You know You might use Leviathan To jump on them damn subs But those missiles on them subs Gonna be used too So the Lord making sure This thing go down in one hour Like he said The Lord is making sure Get ready 
Akim and Akwaf. We about to go home, but it's gonna be brutal. And we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Nathan Laya, Hakasayam, Shah Dawada, that we the Lord's elect. We pr pray that we receive the, the mercies of our forefather David, man. We pray because this 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 place here, this bitch, this whore, America, sins has reached unto heaven. There's no turning back now. There's no turning back. This is uh, Revelations 18 and 5. For her sins, see, America is looked at as a, as a skanky female to the Heavenly Father. For her sins have reached unto heaven. For Yahweh have remembered her iniquity. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her. Double according to her works. And the cup which she have filled, filled to her double. You about to get a double portion. And our Father Yahweh, man, this is not turning back. This is not looking good. So for you two thirds, and look right now, it's uh call all Yah Bashim It's 444. All praise to Yah Bashim So you, you, you two thirds, you want to hold on to this white man, right? You want to hold on to your slave master, you got Stockholm Syndrome. The Lord going to, um, he's going to bring it to you too. The Lord going to bring it to you because he's about to, um, he's about to lay this man down. Um, let me see here. This is um, Isaiah 13, verse 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens. And what's going to do that? These missiles. Everything is lined up. Everything is lined up according to prophecy. Yeah, the dark day is on you. The day of judgment, the day of that lake of fire is all on you people. You don't know. You running around worrying about a damn raise. You worrying about vacation time. You trying to, those preppers trying to, Transfer the currency to crypto nah, Ain't nothing gonna save you Cause you're gonna end up taking that mark of the beast Right If you make it through Jacob's trouble These missiles are gonna meet you Therefore will I shake the heavens And the earth shall remove out of her place That's how hard These missiles are about to hit this land And the wrath of Yahweh of hosts And the day of his fierce anger This is the day The Lord is very Very angry Right, it says, um, this is let's jump down to the 17th verse. Behold, I will stir up the Medes, modern day term, the Russians, man. The Russians, the Lord has stirred them up against them, which shall not regard silver. So, like I said, it's no turning back. You can't pay this thing off. All you Christians, you can't pray this away, you can't vote this away. All of you are in danger, you are in great, great danger. We can't stress that enough. Your ass is in some trouble, man. You're in deep trouble from the heavenly father and his son. For the iniquity, for your pride, for your arrogancy, for your disbelief, for your sins. For not repenting when you had time. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. Russia ain't going to take no silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls, which are the missiles, shall dash the young men to pieces. That's a lot of you military soldiers are done. You citizens of this place, done. If you're not of the Lord's elect, you ain't going to receive the protection, the covering. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. So when they shoot them missiles, they ain't going to think about them babies that's in the hospital, that's just born. The kids playing basketball, the girls jumping rope, the teenagers, the elderly, they just going to shoot these missiles, man. Their eyes should not spare children. And Babylon, this place here, America, the glory of kingdoms at one time you were, now you're not. The beauty of the Chaldeans, your excellency, you look like the man of wisdom at one time, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and that was that thermal fire, thermal nuclear fire raining down from heaven on Sodom and Gomorrah and this place is also, also spiritually called Sodom, that's why you got this pride month going on, celebrating what? Sodomy at this shift and 
you can see it's call sign NTRX, which turns out to be the USS Truxton, okay, an Arleigh Burke class destroyer. All the guns and are out. This thing can carry potentially the SM3 Aegis Ashore missile system. It also has torpedo countermeasures and various other things. So this is a very powerful ship. And then here's another one that took off from Norfolk Naval Base last night. And this is another Arleigh Burke class destroyer. It turned its tracker off after it passed Cape Hatteras, but you can see it was heading down towards Florida. And this comes out to be the USS Oscar Austin, another Arleigh Burke class destroyer, okay? And then we also had this U.S. law enforcement Do you ship, hear all this, this out? This <laughs> could be a Coast Guard ship. And this thing was tracking the Russian flotilla from all the way in the Eastern Atlantic. It came from Spain, I believe. And this one also turned its tracker off when it got near the Florida Keys earlier this morning. At Hey, it's Blackie. We're going. We about to end it in a second. Let me see some. Wait, no, no, this one. This. What's funny is when you look up the details of this ship. Its call sign is eight six seven five three zero nine. I'm gonna stop it so right that's there. Obviously, a you know, because that that's a fraud. That's a fraud a tracking number anyway. But as you can see, the war is on, which means freedom from under the hand of the oppressor, your enemy Esau and the other nations. It's right around the corner. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. This is our last captivity, Akim Akwaf. There's no other captivity. This is our last captivity. Now you nations go under our foot. Now you got some disbelievers out there that don't believe it. It ain't for you to believe. You know, these videos are not for you. This is only for the house of faith. That's it. But we can rejoice now. You know, if we feel we are the Lord's elect, we're doing the right thing. The Lord is showing you that it's a possibility you and your household could be saved. You're under the right leaders. You got the 100% truth. You're praying. You're, you're, you're transforming. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You're disconnecting from Babylon, this system. It's evident this place is done. There's a possibility you can be of the Lord's elect. There is a time to rejoice. And the time is down. But we pray that the Lord pull us through Jacob's trouble, man. You know, many are called, but few are chosen. So, you know, the rejoicing will really start when we finally can breathe, when we in that chariot, when this whole system is on fire, Revelations 15, and we looking out from, from, from the uh, bottom of that chariot, that see-through floor of that chariot, and we watching our, our prison cell, this cage, on fire and while we in the presence of our lord that's true rejoicing but right now this is a very exciting time that we can see through the eyes of the prophets we can see through the eyes of jeremiah through the eyes of baruch through the eyes of ezekiel through the eyes of of isaiah through the eyes of yahusha he's giving us a heads up somebody got to be those men you see so this is a time of rejoicing because we're literally going to see our enemy paid back from a force that's beyond this world. The fourth dimension is on his ass. So this is we're going to end it right here. This is Lamentations 4. And what's that? 22. Rejoice and be glad, O it says uh, I'm read it again like it. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that the well in the land of us the cup also shall pass through unto thee. So now it's time for y'all to be punished. Thou shall be drunken and shall make thyself naked. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. It's over. This is our last captivity under the so-called white men. All the nations had their hand on us, but it ends here. It ends now. Nobody else will enslave you so-called Negroes and Hispanics and Jamaicans and Haitians and native Indians ever again. We're now going into the arms 
of our Heavenly Father, His Son, starting with the elect. It's over. It's over. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry you away into captivity. And we notice in elites, are, uh, they're jealous, they're mad because the birthright is about to take effect. So they're, they're upset uh, about this captivity here. But see, Esau, you was only let out for a short time to fulfill this final prophecy. And yes, two thirds of our people got to go. But you coming back and you're going to be in order. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. That's you so-called whites. Start with you tops. You Rothschilds, you Rockefellers, you DuPonts, Gettys, Rosenvelts, Oppenheimers. Starting with you. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins so your secret high in places everything is about to be turned though so you can go right over here like it says my just my prepper man you know you get busy you know you can check this out they over here because it's time it's zoom and ain't no turning back you ain't turning off these prophecies man we moving forward and ain't gonna be no new world order giving all the praise honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem